hey hello welcome so in this video i am going to show you how you can use insert command how you can use insert data into atp table so in this video i am going to create one integration in which i will insert data into atp table so right now you can see that i have one table xx underscore s2 and underscore tb right now you can see that we don't have any records in this table and we have column for this record table is that id name class and session so what we will do is that we will get a request from user as a value you can see that i have created the request payload for same pid name class session everything and once the data will be inserted into a tp table i will return back to the response to the user as a status success and the process message that successfully inserted inserted so i am going to create integration for same so earlier i have created adapter i have created rest adapter and atp adapter for same if you have not watched previous video go and you can watch that previous video how you can configure rest adapter how you can configure atp adapter so now in this video i will directly create integration so friend before going to a start if you are watching this video i request you to please support us don't forget to like please like this video and please subscribe this channel it will give me a pleasure it will give me like to like create such kind of videos again and again so request you to please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like if you have any query you can comment also so let's get started so here i will click on the create button i will select app driven orchestration and here so i have to give the name of integration so i will give atp as i have created earlier insert data into atp table 02 okay and here package name i will left it okay just okay so here i will do one thing in package name i will create one new package oic dot z dot atp okay so here just click on this create and now you can see that integration is created successfully now i have to add the mapper add the element in this integration so first i will select as change this as a horizontal and now i first i will drag the rest adapter so that i can configure request and response payload so this rest adapter i have created earlier sorry now here i will use a start rate so that i can identify it easily and the name insert data and here i will select post because i want to configure request payload so here you can see that if i selected get we don't have option for request payload right so i will select post and you can see that after selecting post i have option for request payload and as i also want to response payload that's why i will select it, this both just go in request payload i have to select the json format i have to upload the format so already i have created a sample so i will copy this i will paste it here now okay so you can see that uh, we got error so let me verify why where is the error so comma 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 we have all this thing everything is well okay so here you can see that i missed that p class double quotes okay so that was the issue so because this is number i can is put it as a number also right it is not the issue so just okay now you can see that it's configured now go next and it will ask option for response so also i will select json for the response click in line and here i have created the payload so here we have been selected post now everything is done just go and done so now you can see that the rest endpoint is added and with that rest endpoint we have mapper so this is the mapper for response so what will be the response of this integration this mapper will define okay and this is the request body using this endpoint we will get the request from user okay so now i have to insert data into atp table so i have to add the atp <coughs> okay so atp endpoint so here i will go and this is oracle atp and this atp i have created fox atp trigger and invoke so i will drag it here and now i will give the name insert atp okay because i am going to use insert 
so here you can see that we have different different option we can use uh, in, in, invoke a store procedure we can create a procedure here we can create procedure in ATP table and we can call that procedure directory or else we can run a SQL statement something like it insert into table or directly we can select up operation so here you can see that if I will go and select the operation perform and operation into table we have option to insert update insert or update and select so I will select insert and just go next so here it will ask to a schema so here you can see that my schema is that ATP user so how you can validate the schema so suppose this is your table right so you can figure out from here that select a star from all obj cts objects where object name is equals to now this thing so once you will run you will get the owner name is atp user else you can go this is the my database connection so else you to go to database connection go to property and you can see that atp user so this is the schema over there okay so now come to here and now select table and insert a table name for search so here my table name is that this one i will copy this table name i will search here so you can see that my table is reflecting here just select here and click on this import table so this table is imported and select one primary key for this table so i will select id as a primary key and go ok and the rest of things i will skip i don't need to add anything just go next and done now using this ATP endpoint, using this ATP endpoint, I will insert data into table. So for inserting data, we require data to send this ATP endpoint. So using this map to insert ATP mapper, we will assign value to this endpoint so that the same value will be inserted into table. So from where I can map, I have request using a start rest. In a start rest endpoint, I have request as a value and same request value I have to map with map to insert data. So I will click here. So you can see the name of this endpoint is start rest. So I will go a start rest request. Okay. So here you can see that in a start, yeah, a start rest request. Inside this start rest request, if you will see, we have all these value, right? P ID, P name, P class, P session, as we have configured here, right? All this thing. So I will map this with ATP option so here you can see that this is insert ATP request and here we have all this thing ID name class session so just I will click here I will map with this I will map with this I will map with this and map with session now done just click on valid so it will be validated and click on close so now everything is mapped we will get a request from user the same request will be mapped to insert ATP then the ATP uh, endpoint and now after inserting we have to map value as success so this map to a start rest is the response of the integration so I will edit so we will get this two column over there you can see that in a start rest response request wrapper Hannah, you can see that request wrapper response wrapper so in response wrapper we will have two values a status and process message as we configure that request response payload a status and process message so in a status i want to put this value so i will in a status process go create target node edit and put value in double quotes okay tick it here and done and here sorry is not this is the process message right so in process message I have to put this value okay so this value in a status I have to put success as you don't see it or as yeah so just so now everything is mapped validated and close done so you can see that our integration is created and configured everything is done so just we have one error because of that tracer, tracing variable so just go enable any variable as tracing variable suppose i will select name and save done just again save and close your integration is configured completed successfully now you have to activate your integration and execute the integration so here i will go I will activate my integration by enabling the tracing so that I can 
uh, see the log message in activity stream right so integration it will take some time to activate so now you can see that this integration activated just click here and test so here in body section you can insert data insert request payload so here you can see that this is our request payload correct you can see that PID class name session so once you will click here it will insert same data into table and it will return back response you can see that this is the response the status has success for process message successfully inserted and the same value you can see that it will be reflected in the table so here let me query the table and you can see that the same data inserted into this table 1001 student 1 bc and 2 let me change let me put this 102 bca s2 and 02 and session will be same so just click here test you can see that the same data at the same time reflected in the table you can see that we have two record now go and again insert this time i will select mca s2 and 3 session suppose 22 to <coughs> 24 and now this is the id as 3 just go to test you can see that same data can be reflected into the ATP table here so you can see that 103 s2 and mca2 so this is the process how you can create the integration to insert data into ATP table in next video i will create integration to update data thank you so much for watching